Hi there, and welcome to today's Quantum Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these GIF animations of a fragmented head fragmenting even more. Um, if you're doing any kind of animation work in Photoshop, it can be a bit daunting to get started. So I will talk you through the basics, and then you can explore to your heart's content and make all sorts of cool GIF animations using different layers. You can see on the animation I have running in the background, that we are looking at about 10 layers and 12 frames. I've done it to keep it quite simple so it's not too overwhelming to begin with. Any two frames will make an animation. So first of all, I will talk you through how to get set up. So the first thing we'll do is stop it for a minute. Now you will see that each frame, if I click on it, has got a different section of the animation and if you notice when I click on one of them the layers over here how they are arranged change so if I go back to layer one you can see that the pieces in these segments are arranged like so so this is what we'll do we'll make a new one from scratch using this piece of example that we have here so if you watch the video, how to make a Michaela Lazzarenzo fragmented portrait, you'll be familiar with the technique that I used here. And I will talk you through how to make the animation from start to finish. So if we start just by hiding this box, so if I hide that, and I go to window and tick timeline, you will see there's my fragmented portrait that I made. And if we go to the layers menu, you can see that we could have it with the body cut out or without the body cut out. I think we can do that later on. You'll see this is the original picture that we started with. We added a blank layer. We copied the subject over. We cut bits of it up and we made this fragmented shape. Okay, to save time. So you remember how to do that. Save time, I'll talk you through it on the next animation so if we go back to the one here which I quickly say if we go back to one here you can see that I've broken it down into separate layers if I hide them you can see what we're talking about each layer has it's got its own element on so they are all different fragments you remember that we added the drop shadows in create the shadowy effect again all in the other video so I won't repeat all that here I'll put a link in the descriptions below if you want to click on that video to watch how to make this image in the first place but once we've got it we're going to go to window and we're going to go to timeline you can see here there's one that I made earlier so what I'm going to quickly do just to make it easier is just delete all these frames in fact I'll delete all of them and you can see that we have frame one. If it doesn't come up with any frames at all, I can't actually delete this frame. So if it comes up, there'll be a box here that says create frame animation, tick on that. And there's another video in my channel where you can watch how to make GIF animations as well. So once we've got the timeline and we've got create frame animation, we will then click the plus button here. And you can see that it duplicates exactly the frame in front of it. Then it's a question of simply clicking on the layers over here and moving them where you want them to be in your animation. And you need to do a lot of this. And I move them all outwards slightly as if the head was exploding outwards. So I click on each layer, move it slightly, click on the next bit, move it slightly, click on the next one, move it slightly, click on the next one, move it slightly. This is the main focus of today's video to show you how to do this part of the animation. And we'll leave that where it is for now. So you will see frame one is like that, frame two is like that. Now, the good thing about animation is you do little steps and then you speed them up and you create the animation. So if I press play now, you can see it will flash between the two images, which is a great starting point. To continue with our animation, we will click on layer two, click the plus button, and it will duplicate exactly what's on layer two, which is different to what's on layer one. So always be on the last layer when you click the plus button to duplicate it. 
from this, we will click on our layers again and we will move them slightly further apart to create that exploding effect. Now, you can have as many layers doing as many different things as you wish for your animations. But I think this is sufficient for this. I mean, you could literally have every hexagon on its own layer and have thousands of layers, but it might take you a while to animate it. If you're doing this for a themed exam or something, you might have a limited amount of time. So give yourself enough time to do what you are doing. So you can see now with three frames, it does that. And if you can see this box is annoying, you can click on a different layer, stop it, click on a different layer, and then you can play it again, and you can see it changes. Now, we might prefer to change the time interview interval. We can have two seconds, and then it does it. We can make them all two seconds. And you can see we've now got a much slower animation. If you go too slow, and I'll show you what happens, if we go to 0.5 seconds, it will start to be quite a jerky animation. It won't run very smoothly. So you can see there's too big a gap in between the frames. So for me, 0.1 is about right. And you get 10 frames a second. And you can't really tell the blurring out effect Okay, so that's what we're doing here. Obviously, we can make another layer, duplicate that, and do the same process again. And that will create even more of this splattered effect that we're looking for. And we'll do that. We'll move that one there. We'll move that one over there. We'll move that one up there. And we'll move that one down there. And we'll test that out. Now I'm going to make one more frame and then I'll show you a really cool technique you can do to make it all move backwards. So we press the plus one, click on one up here, click one there, click one over here, click one down there. I've got them so they're slightly going off the page now. You can see that will add to the effect. And this one down there, and we'll just test that out. Again, make sure we click on a blank there so we don't get those lines. And this is a really cool trick I can show you. So if we wanted to make it go backwards as well as forwards, we can duplicate the layers and then add them to the other end of it. So we can copy all this. I have it all the way over here. So I'll show you what I mean. If I duplicate layer four, it starts to be called layer five, which gets a bit confusing. Move it here, it'll turn into layer six. You can see it goes layer four, layer five, and then back to layer six. So we go to layer three, duplicate that one, move that one over here, it becomes layer seven. And if we go to layer two, duplicate that, put that over here. And because it's a loop, we don't need to duplicate the first layer. And if I've done this correctly, it should flow as a nice in and out animation. And there you go. Animation GIFs in Photoshop for fragments. And if we go back to the one that I did a moment ago. And open that one up. or not in this case, as it has been quite laggy today. You will see that, if I go to my channel in a minute, and find the video I was referring to. This is the one here, how to make a fragmented portrait in Photoshop, looking at. This shows you all the steps you need to do to make this animation. So. Obviously, if you enjoy that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to be updated whenever I make a new video. And um, I look forward to seeing you for some more videos. If you've enjoyed it, leave a comment below and have fun making your animations. And I'll just play it one more time for fun to say goodbye. So there you go, fragmented animations in Photoshop. Oh, one last thing, actually. 
obviously you need to file and you can export it as a wait for it as a gif and then once it's all done its bit it will then anim animate itself as a gif okay brilliant right have fun making your own and like i say enjoy and leave some comments below if you need any more advice on animations thank you very much for watching and goodbye